Well, how y'all doing? I was going to get in here and start cooking me a, a little pork sirloin roast. And I was cleaning up in the kitchen here and cleaning off the stove top. And uh, I got to look and I wanted to see what is everybody on YouTube doing to clean these glass stove tops. I mean, I've used a, a razor blade in the past to get that ring of crud that's built up. Let me show it to you. I don't buy new cars, I don't buy brand names, I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money, I like to find bargains, it's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me Cause I like doing it cheap Yeah, I like doing it cheap Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap Like I said, I've used a razor blade to scrape that up. But I hear all these people singing praises uh, about cleaning the bottom of their of their cook pots with with vinegar and, and uh, baking soda. I right, look at that and I said, well, if that's how you clean the bottom of pots and pans, then I went and I looked to see what they was doing and, and some people was using baking soda. And some people was using Dawn dishwashing liquid with water and baking soda and scraping it off that way. And, and I decided that I'm going to try a few things. I'm just going to let y'all watch. Uh, I'm going to try several different methods, several, several different combinations, and we're going to see which one works the best. Now, I know that if I was to take a razor blade and scrape it up, I know that I can get up the crud that way but that still don't take the stain up and it's been a it's been a long time since this stovetop looked brand new I've I've cleaned the crud off before but never got it really sparkly shiny for example back there we rarely ever use that warmer eye you see there's no build up crud around that but there is around this one and that one and I rarely use that one back there and of course, I already showed you this one. What gets me is all these people showing how they clean their stove top. But whenever you're watching them, this thing's already clean and they're just saying, well, this is how I did it. This is how you do it. Oh, hell no. I want to see the shit. I want to see the nastiness because I want to I wanna see that idea work. I don't want you just saying, well, you do it this way and this will work. No, 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 no. Let's see it from the beginning. So stick around and let's see what old Paw Paw can do. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in segments. Uh, I, I do want to show you this is not hot. It is a little bit warm because I've got my uh, cornbread stick pan in the oven. I'm getting it cleaned up. This is a little bit warm, but this is not hot. Well, No, it's not hot. Well, it's a little, it's a little hot right there. But that's just cause the heat from the stove. All right, I'm just gonna take a washcloth because I don't want to use a big rag. Because like I said, I want to do this in sections. So I'm gonna put a washcloth right there. That's sort of dividing this into taking a fourth of it, like a slice out of a pie. And I just bought some white distilled vinegar. Good old white distilled vinegar from Walmart. Okay, 
okay that's so good that's that's all that washcloth will hold right there so that's step one and we'll be back okay <clears throat> well what I've done here here is I have put baking soda baking soda this ain't Arm and Hammer this is the brand from Aldi but I have put baking soda right here dry I put baking soda right here dry but I poured vinegar over the top of this and over here is vinegar only now I've got water heating up in my little hot pot and I'm gonna pour boiling water over the top of the section here that's just baking soda and this side I've just left it alone it's gonna be our control and uh, we're gonna see what does it because I get so tired of all this fake stuff you see on there I want to show it to you I want to see what's happening if anything all right well let me I'm letting that water heat up ah right. we'll pour some hot water over the top of that Okay, well, we'll see what happens. It is a uh, It's 234 and we'll come back in a little while Okay, we've let this soak a while So let's see what we got here. I've got a little cheap razor knife here because I know a razor knife you can use it to Work it, scraping that stuff off like that right there. All right. So let's see. This is uh, what was this one? We'll have to go back. Oh yeah, I think this was the boiling water with the with the uh, bacon soda, whatever. You know what it was because I just said it. <laughs> All right, let's see if this does any better. Yeah, this is a little softer. Okay, that was a little softer. Now, let's see what we got here. say this is the easiest one. Now let's see what we got here. Well I can't tell that there's much of a difference in any of them. I think the main thing was I think the main thing was just letting it soak. Whether it be water vinegar vinegar and baking soda i don't see that there's that much difference using a razor blade scraper now if it's just a little bit of dirt or whatever i maybe see a little difference like the fact is there ain't no chemical gonna do it all you will have to use something mechanical when I say mechanical I mean like a scrub pad a razor blade you know steel wool you're gonna have to have it's gonna take mechanical effort not just chemical effort to get all that off but it looks a lot better than it did and uh, it's cleaner than it's been in a very long time I've scraped it before and the ring around it may be where actually some paint had been took out of it. I'm not sure. But there you go. 
We used vinegar, we used baking soda, we used a combination of vinegar and baking soda. And we used grill and oven cleaner. And that was what I used last and that helped to, that really softened it up around that left side uh, eye there. Uh, it really softened up the grease and crud that was on there, so it scraped off a lot easier. So I guess if I was to recommend any one product, I'd probably recommend that grill and oven cleaner. It's not aromatic, you know, like the spray easy off stuff. Uh, I mean, it does have an odor to it, and it will eat up your skin, but uh, it seemed to work pretty good. So I hope you learned something from that. Well, there you have it. What the answer was is the razor blade. The razor blade is what did the work. A little glass plus here. Just to clean the film off. So, there you have it. The truth about cleaning these stove tops. You can only do so much with them. So, my advice to you is don't let it, don't let nothing get built up on it. You get a brand new one, by God, clean that son of a bitch every time. All right. Well, there you go. Well, folks, I really appreciate you watching my videos. Ain't no telling what the next one's going to be. I, I, I don't know what the next one's going to be. I thought today was going to be doing a... Uh, pork sirloin roast but that didn't get done but I got the stove top cleaned off mama be happy folks thank you again y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow bye everybody